In this video, I'm going to review the Mozilla VPN. I'm going to test the speeds, see which locations it has, and test out any extra features that it has to offer. So let's get started. Now, before I start, I just want to say that I've included a link down in the description for the VPN. And with that link, you'll be able to check the price and you'll get any promotions or offers. So if you're planning on buying, you'll be able to get the best deal possible and the lowest price. So make sure you check that out first and let's get started with the video. Okay, so to start off our review, I'm going to do a speed test and first off I'm going to do it on my home connection then I'm going to do it with the VPN connected and then see what kind of speeds we get when the VPN is enabled so if I start off with my home connection I'm going to press go so the speed test has completed and I've got 707 megabytes down 909 up and a ping of two now I'm going to connect to the VPN and I'm just going to use the closest server so I'm going to use a London based server so now I've got the VPN enabled, I'm going to run the same test and let's see what we get. So the test has completed and as you can see we've got 565 megabytes down which is really good that's not much of a drop at all compared to our home connection. Our upload has dropped quite a bit and we're down to 248 but this is still more than enough for what we need and our ping has increased to 14 which is relatively low and you could definitely use that for gaming or using it for anything else and it would have no issues at all. So when it comes to locations, I feel like this is Mozilla's weak point. They don't have as many countries and cities as other VPNs. As you can see here, they have a lot of Europe and Western countries, but they could definitely add more to this list. Alongside that, in each country, you tend to only get one city. For example, in Austria, you can only connect through Vienna. In Belgium, they only have Brussels. Uh, Bulgaria is only Sofia. In Canada, they have at least Montreal, Toronto and Vancouver. Um, Denmark is only Copenhagen so like they could definitely add some more cities and some more countries to their list. So one of the cool features that Mozilla offers is a multi-hop VPN. What this does is it allows you to connect through multiple servers to further increase your privacy and security. So you could first connect to in this example Milan then you could exit through London and that would give you multiple hops. This will slow down your connection considerably compared to just connecting to one server directly but it can improve your security and privacy. Alongside that in the network settings you're able to adjust the local network access you can tunnel it through port 53 if you want to use WireGuard and then you have some advanced DNS settings here which you can use to block certain websites or some certain DNS servers and then in the app permission settings you can adjust which uh, software is using the VPN and which isn't on your computer so if you don't want to block everything or run everything through the VPN you can just choose certain programs that utilize it and others which don't. So now I want to answer some FAQ questions when it comes to the Mozilla VPN. The first being which devices can I use the VPN on? So the VPN works on Windows, Mac, Linux, Android and iOS. You can also run five devices simultaneously so if you want to use it on your computer and your phone that is no problem at all and then if you want to share it with other people in your family you could of course do that too. So the next question is is Mozilla VPN free? The VPN is not free it costs about five dollars per month if you use a 12 month plan and if you do it on a month to month basis it costs about ten dollars per month. Now you can get some discounts and coupons to lower the price and they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee so if you test it out and you don't like it you could simply just message them and get a refund and cancel your subscription. So the next question is can I use Mozilla VPN for torrenting and the answer is yes as they use Malvad servers which allow torrenting you could definitely use Mozilla VPN for torrenting as well and not encounter any issues. So the next common question I get is can I use the Mozilla VPN for streaming? This includes stuff like Netflix, Hulu and other services and the answer is no. When I tested it out on Netflix with servers from the UK, Canada, America, uh, none of them worked and I was blocked from using Netflix. So I would not recommend this VPN for streaming. So another question I get is, is Mozilla VPN safe? And the answer is yes. There were no IP or data leaks when I tested it out and they use the WireGuard protocol which is perfectly safe and used by many VPN services. So for the final question is does Mozilla store logs and for this they do not. They do not store any logs of any kind but they do store your payment information when you sign up for the service so you have to be aware of that. 
So that sums up the video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said at the start of the video, I've included a link down in the description for the VPN and this will give you the best price possible and I'll make sure to include any coupons or discount codes that I find. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and make sure that you leave a like on the video.